The Amiga from Commodore is one of the most versatile computers currently available with applications far beyond a mere games machine, right up to professional standard in graphics, image processing, desktop publishing and video. In this video, we give you a glimpse of some of the applications, software and hardware in most common use. You will see that the Amiga is a versatile and powerful tool, with uses limited only by your own imagination. Richard Lockton, a full-time professional Amiga user in graphics, desktop publishing and video, is going to talk us through the different sections which feature live screenshots of the programs actually running on an Amiga. First of all, let's take a quick look at a clip from our Space Wars video by Tobias Richter to see a meager animation at its best. Amos, the creator, is nothing like you've ever seen before on the Amiga. Developed from the best-selling STOS game creation tool for the Atari ST, Amos stretches the Amiga to its limits. Whatever your knowledge of programming, Amos has something to offer you. In this brief glimpse at the program, you will see the ability to produce professional-looking games with just a fraction of the normal effort. All you need is a little imagination. Amos can be run either from floppy or hard disk and has a comprehensive manual to guide you through the hundreds of commands which are required to write sophisticated games. This eerie castle is part of a short demo game included with the Amos program. It shows how screens can be made to scroll with ease. Titles added, even music and sound effects too. All you are seeing and hearing now is from the Amos program you saw loaded in the editor window. Graphics and pictures like these can be created in paint programs and then imported into Amos. The game is played by choosing options with the mouse from a series displayed. Information about the progress of the game is given and the direction in which you want to travel can be chosen. This brings up the next screen. Clicking the mouse again gives us more information about continuing the game. And once again, we can choose the direction in which we want to travel. Information about our progress is updated in the left-hand panel.
The red bar, which has now appeared at the bottom of the screen, shows that I have interrupted the program via the keyboard. The line at which the program was halted is shown, and a couple more key presses brings us back to the editor. Now we'll load another program. Choose the correct file from the requester. And select load. We can take a look at how the program is put together and then run it. This is a number leap game which is fun to play. Once again the sound effects and voices are all part of the program. This game features independently animated sprites or picture elements which change their positions continually. The frog is controlled by the player at the keyboard. You so it then moves to reach the other side of the pond. That's not bad. Keep trying. Whoops, I forgot if a mistake is made, the frog, the frog sinks and swim. you lose. Now let's change the multiplication table we are working with for the purpose of this game. Getting the idea? I'll interrupt the program and go back to the editor. Now we'll take a look at one of the ways that sprites can be created in Amos using the sprite editor. The program is first loaded into the editor window. A full listing of the program appears and can be examined. You can of course do this with the programs you write yourself. When the program runs, a paint package type toolbox appears. The various tools can be selected. Interestingly, each tool has its own musical note accompaniment. Let's create a sprite. First select the line tool and the color red from the palette. The large window on the left allows us to see the sprite at a large size whilst the right-hand window gives us an idea of what the actual size representation looks like. Drawing the red line. There's the small representation. And here's the enlarged version. We'll pick a new colour and draw in another line. Now we'll change the tool to a filled rectangle. Select a new colour and draw our rectangle on the screen. Now we'll add some text. Change colour again. The text is entered at the keyboard.
Before the text is stamped down by using the mouse, it can be positioned accurately. Same with the second line. Here's the sprite as we've created it. We create the sprite editor program and return to the editor window. Had we been working on an actual project, once the sprite had been created to our satisfaction, we could have named and saved it for use in a game. It's also possible to view sprites via the Sprite Grabber program, seen briefly here. Break the program again and back to the editor. The AMOS program comes complete with many examples for you to try during the learning process. The beauty of it is that you can see the listings for each element of the project and edit and amend it at will. Here a group of four arrowheads is loaded from the AMOS disk and can be manipulated via the mouse. It is also possible to import picture files and graphics, sound samples, plus much, much more. With Amos, it is literally possible to unleash your imagination.